Did you know that coffee is the second most traded commodity on the planet? Where the tea is the most widely drank beverage on earth? Hey guys, it's Jesse from Jesse on a Journey here. And today I'm taking you to my favorite coffee and tea shop on Long Island in New York, the Roast Coffee and Tea Trading Company. Now on Long Island, there is a limitless amount of Starbucks. Every corner, every street, you'll see the chain. But what you won't see is those eclectic little coffee shops and those tea houses that offer those unique blends, you know, with chocolate and fruit and florals that you really don't find anywhere else. You know, they offer music and art and poetry. Well, in November of 2010, Roast opened its doors in Patchogue, New York, and began offering the most unique teas and coffees I have ever seen. So today I'm going to take you inside and I'm going to introduce you to one of the baristas and show you some of the coffees and teas and how they are brewed. So follow me. So this is Rose. Hi, how are you today? Good. Um, what's your name? Nether. Nice to meet you. Um, I just wanted to ask you a few questions about Rose. Um, so what would you say sets Rose apart from the other coffee and tea houses? Okay. And so you can come in and you kind of have a drink and also learn about how it's made. Yes. Okay. And you can see as we have right now, we roast our own coffee. Yeah. See, you can see the in-house roasting right here. And um, you also have um, three unique methods of brewing, right? Yeah, we do three different ways. My favorite. That's the French press. French press. French press. Got to get closer. Heat up the glass. We heat the glass up. Then we pour the water out and pour the coffee grind back into the bottom. Okay. This has a mesh bottom. And then we pour the water, hot water, into here. We pop back on. We wait about four minutes for it to cool. And then we slowly push down. And all the coffee gets pushed down to the bottom. So, can any type of coffee be made in the French press, or is there only certain blends that go? Any type. So, literally choose one off the coffee menu and say I want a French press? Yeah. Okay. Um, what were the other methods? And what's that called? Clever. Okay. Clever. Here. Okay. Then you add the coffee grind okay. right in here. You pour the water right over. And then you wait. And when you push it, put it on top of the cup, it pours your individual cup out. It gets pushed down and it drips out. So how does that affect the flavor of the coffee bean? Um, it makes it, uh, it keeps like, more of the oils and stuff in it. It has this. More flavorful? Yes. Okay. And then what was the last one? The Chemex. The Chemex. Okay. Also. Is that the most popular kind, or? They all. Oh. All equal? Yeah. I've heard of the Chemex, that's why I asked. I have a lot for French fries, too. I, like I said, French fries. Okay. Have to try it. Um, you put the filter in. Okay. You put the coffee in. And then you pour the coffee. And then it drips down into here so it fills up. Maybe more time. And then pour up the coffee. Wow, okay. So I'm definitely going to have to try that. Now, you also make, you know, why I usually come in here, a variety of teas. Um, my favorite, the Buccaneer, has chocolate in it. But um, we're going to go look at some of the different varieties right now. Follow me. Now, as you can see, we also have cookies and chips. We've got a whole pastry case right here. You know, double chocolate muffin. We've even got the low-fat multi-berry muffin, uh, blueberry scones, pretty much anything you'd want. And here is the tea case. So as you can see, there is, you know, Masala chai, it's got cinnamon, cloves, 
cardamom, ginger, fair trade certified. We've got the Fiji, which is what I'm going to be trying later. Organic China green tea with pineapple and papaya. And um, do you want to show us some? You can see some what they look like. Well, this is the tisane. This is one of my favorites. It's ruby zipper. It's a tisane. Tisane, yeah. It's a black orange. Oh, blood orange, excuse me. And the biscuits. And as soon as you open it, the smell mm -hmm. is just. Let's see what this looks like up close now. Wow. Definitely, definitely smell the orange. Kind of smell cranberry a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to show you my favorite, the buccaneer, the chocolate in it. This is why I come here all the time. As you can see, let's get a close up of this one. down there, it's pretty popular. Smell. Smells just like chocolate. Maybe a little bit of fruit in there. It has coconut. Coconut. Chocolate, vanilla. Yes. So today I'm going to be trying the Fiji. That is their most popular blend. As soon as it uh, runs out, they have to order it again. And as soon as it's ordered, they run it's out again. So. Iced tea also. That's hot. It's green tea with wild pineapple and papaya. Delicious. Okay. All right. So let me try that, and I'll let you know what I think. <laughs> if I think it's better than my usual buccaneer, maybe I'll be switching. Thank you. That is really good. Definitely a lot fruitier than what I'm used to, but I can definitely see why it is a favorite. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this segment on roast, and I hope if you're ever on Long Island, you'll come visit for yourself.